How goes it everybody? My name is Howitzer and welcome back to SnowRunner. Today I got this one, the GWC 1974 GH200. The international truck fans are going to be happy with this one because it's based off an old international truck and supposedly you can do a lot of things with this one. So let's see what we can do with it. All right, for engines, we have a 304 cubic inch small block, 392 big block, or 392 dyno tube. Let's definitely do that. For gearbox, we have the 5-speed default, 6-speed highway, 4-speed off-road. We'll do the 4-speed first, and then we'll probably change it up. For suspension, we have stock, 4-inch lift, and 8-inch lift. Oh yeah, let's get this thing off the ground. For tires... Oh man, he's got a lot of them to choose from. Alright, he's got the monster tires as one of the choices, but there are a lot of other tires that you can go with too. But I know that these ones are decent, so I'm going to go with these ones. For winch, you got stock, stage 2, stage 3, and stage 4. Definitely stage 4. Alright, for visuals, we got the bed. Oh, I can't turn the truck. Well, it looks like you got like a utility bed. You got a dump bed. You can make it into a fire truck, which gives you some repair parts. You can do the rescue bed. There's like a little ambulance box on the back. You can do the step side or the wrecker. Let's, uh, let's do the dual utility bed, just because it comes with some stuff. Snorkel, yep. Front bumper, you got the stock. A weighted bumper, you got a brush guard, and a lighted bumper. Let's do the weighted bumper, sure. It doesn't look, doesn't look terrible. Roof, you can put some cab lights up there. Sure, why not? For colors, oh, this, oh, there's all your, uh, all your different options for different stuff at the fire truck. A little ambulance paint job. That's pretty cool. But it seems like just mostly your normal colors, really. Let's go for like this darkish grayish blue. Sure. And of course, you got bobbleheads and other accessories you can do with it, too. Let's go see how this thing does. I'm quite curious. All right, I guess today it's going to be rainy. But it actually looks really good. With all the stuff in the bed, it actually looks like an old, old work truck. Let's see what the inside looks like. I mean, it definitely looks old school in here. For sure. Hell yeah. Doesn't look too bad. That sounds like an old pickup truck engine, I guess. Ooh. It's loud. It flocks out all the time. That's nice to see. And it'll just pull the scout trailers. Let's go see how it does on its own first. This thing is pretty cool looking. We'll put it in a four-wheel drive. Take it through the little mud pit. Oh, yeah. Right through that little part. Wouldn't really expect anything unless these tires are really good. Oh, this thing's fucking loud. We'll take it through Swampy Town. Yeah, pretty much what I expected. It's it's pretty much gonna do all this. This one is acting a little different though. Yeah, not a not a care in the world, really. See what happens when we put it in high ones. Well, it's not crazy in <laughs> in this stuff. Comes the deep spot. Way too much wheel speed. Yeah, it's not doing bad through here. Yeah, it seems like with this truck. The four speed is a little more tame. Here comes the river. Oh, right to the river, no problem. Wow. Alright, let's go do some other stuff. Yeehaw. Alright. Let's see how the short wheelbase does with this truck. This truck is fairly short. Oh, 
I did that, no problem. This is where it might get a little interesting. Just because the truck is a little shorter than some of his other trucks. And again, these are not a rock tire. What? It did that all right. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Not doing too bad. Oh, boy. Land it. No. Oh. oh. Oh boy. Kinda caught in a pretty shitty spot. <laughs> All right, we'll take it up this way. It almost feels like this one is geared just a little different. Let's see if we can get her to go up the rock here. Oh, hey. Oh, it's like, oh, it's like that perfect length. Damn. Oh, yeah, I don't think it's going to do that. I, I bet if you spent enough time with it, it would probably do that. It actually went up there fairly, fairly easy. Oh, come on, get up there. There you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this one isn't too too terrible. Let's go see how fast this thing is once. All right, let's see if I can control it down the hill. a little bit of a jumper oh yeah <laughs> yeah I didn't do that all that bad a little bit of a jumper let's go see how it does pulling a little trailer once all right we'll grab our little trailer we'll head on out our way Yeah, with this being such a short wheelbase truck, this one might not be too bad for getting you through some tight spots. Nice little scout truck. Yeah, right up the hill, no issue. Well, I mean, like I say with a lot of his scout builds, these tires are really really good in the mud and off-road so you should be able to do quite a bit with this truck Oof. The international fans are gonna really like this one they were a, a pretty plain looking truck back in the day but boy were they built just Absolutely crazy. One of the more heavy duty trucks you could get. Let's take it up the little hill. See if we can do it in high. <laughs> yeah, all right. Did that, no problem. Oh, yeah, the turning radius is beautiful. All right, we'll send her on down the hill once. Ah! Oh, yeah. Like butter. Yeah, I ruined the suspension, though. But we have some repair parts. That's nice to have. Yeah, I don't know why I feel like this one's different. It it seems like high isn't as 
crazy. Like a few of of his other builds, even with the four speed, you put it in high and it it gets a little rowdy. This one actually isn't all that bad. Go through the little puddle. Yeah, it, this one's pretty decent. Well, I mean, for this one, that's... I've seen everything I need to see. Well, that was the GWC 1974 GH200. Not a bad little truck. I like it. it. It looks actually really good. I don't mind it at all. And of course, with those tires, you're pretty much going to go anywhere you want. It makes plenty of power. I do like how it's a little more tame. I do like that. Another good little build. I had fun. Good job. And with some of the extra little things you can do to it, like, like the, uh, the wrecker bed or the dump bed, you can kind of make the truck its own little thing, and it's, it's different. I think that's pretty cool. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Hit that subscribe button for me as well. And I will hopefully see you in the next one.